All right, welcome back everyone to another episode of John and Eric's Epic Adventures into Skyrim. We are on episode 32, and there's a very good chance that this is going to be the last episode of season one, where as John Rurikson becomes the Dragonborn, we are going to be starting season two, where he starts taking on much more challenging adventures and their goals change. So we are right here, back in Ivarstead, right? Nice to be back. And we are gonna head up to High Hrothgar. We're gonna climb the, what is it? 10,000, uh, 7,000 steps, excuse me, not 10, right? I guess if you round up. It is about lunchtime in game. It's roughly 12.30. And I say we just get right up to it, right? We're, uh, one of the things that we've been running with here, you know what I'm gonna do is very quickly switch over to our dagger and put soothe in the offhand. Where is it here? Uh, where is it? I'm missing it here. Here, just give me all of them. Soothe. There it is. Soothe rank one. Favorited, left hand. So what we've been doing is casting soothe to train... I can't even remember what it trains, I don't remember what school it is, but it's a great way to just kind of quickly and passively train in some XP as we hike up. So along the way there are ten of these etched shrines, and I'm going to read them all just because then... Eric, how's that wall looking? Uh, and we will, we'll, we'll take our horse up too. And I'll... Is that a dead wolf? We don't really... we're, we're too busy. Anyway, I'm going to read all of these, and I'll kind of, because there, we might come across some enemies, but it really won't be anything, so I'm going to splice together for the YouTube video all of our um, readings of these, so it'll be basically one fluid reading of all the different stories. So, let me do this again. So there we go, it's Illusion, right? Illusion all the way up to level 9, so we're making good progress. So the first one. Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times unafraid to war with dragons in their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged, tongue, or dragon against tongue. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were many-fold. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jorgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Jorgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The seventeen disputants could not shout him down. Jorgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Oh, so he changed his name. He became Jorgen the Calm. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name, Tiber Septum. Stripling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. I think that means like youngling, right? Oh, Suicidal Killers, thank you so much for subscribing. Here we are. Hi, Hrothgar. In the final reading. The voice is worship, follow the inner path, speak only in true need. And there we go, I now know the voice of the sky. And voice of the sky, what it does, it's 24 hours real time. Animals will neither attack nor flee from you. So basically we can walk right by wild animals and they're not gonna care about us. Which is pretty cool, because we're constantly attacked by wolves, and if, if we attack an animal, it'll attack us back, and then it cancels out the, uh, the effect. But, for now, we don't have to- Oh no, I forgot to bring up 
clinic's, um... Wow. Clinic supplies. Oh well. We'll leave all of their goods there. I knew I forgot something. We were supposed to help him out, but there was a quest for that, right? I mean, he, you know, it isn't like a super big quest. So here we are. We get to figure out why they summoned us, which is pretty exciting. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Uh, you called me Dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. My sexy voice. All right, all right. So that would be this. Ooh. Oh my god. He's level 90? Welcome to High Rothko. I am Master Angir. They are I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Um, who are you and what is this place, right? Because I, I don't know, right? I mean, we kind of know. It was established as like a monastery, but... We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Yeah, sometimes when I eat, like, a lot of beans, I, I have problems balancing the inner and outer self. Um, I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood came before you. All right. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Hmm. All right, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Ooh. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Oh. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Yo. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Catherine, welcome. We're dragonborning. Oh, thanks, Eric. There we go. I was like... <laughs> you a new word like a monster. You try to do the gift. But learning a word of power only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Ro. Ro. to unlock it, right? Oh, come on. Uh, oh no, it automatically unlocked. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Alright. Eric, you might wanna... Oh, good lord. 
Uh, Captain, thank you very much for following. All right, we're just gonna have to. Did I miss? Thanks, Herrick. Yeah, I missed the first one. Well done. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Alright, there we go. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Bori! Hi. Yeah, none of them speak to because they're all silent monks that, that if they were to talk, they'd like knock your head off. I don't even think they talk in combat either. Like they don't taunt. They're too busy just ripping you apart with magic. Right. Oh, cool. Look, they all have cloaks. That's cool. Fury, the <laughs> second word of whirlwind sprint. No. Nah. Oh, what? Oh, no, he is gonna teach me. Okay. You must I was like, no? Nah, he ain't gonna teach me? Before you can project it into a thing. Approach Master Blood. We could add, oh no, we don't have the uh, the soul to unlock the second one, but. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint. Eric, you might wanna. Before it closes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Wolfgar. <laughs> oh, oops. Did I do it? Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. And Bung Hao, welcome. Um, <laughs> thank you. What's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, mm -hmm. our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. All right. Uh, let's see. What are some good questions that we can ask here? Uh, let, tell, tell me a little bit more about Jorgen Windcaller. We've heard that name. Who, who was he? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice was born. I guess he was right. Um, yeah, what is the way of the voice, right, that you the mentioned? The voice was a gift of the goddess Tinnerith at the dawn of time. 
She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Yeah, we read Although that. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Uh, but I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. Nope. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, there aren't many of them, but I think that's enough questions. Breath and focus. Cool. All right. So, Horn of Jorgen Windcaller. That is located A. Pretty good. All right. So, I think what we're going to do for this episode is we're going to go get the horn, right? And I believe we're also going to run over here. Since since we're already basically going to be over here. What was that? Oh, uh, different, different quest. So, we'll get the horn, right? We're also going to go and get the Rufal Axe, and if we have time, probably on the next episode, we're going to end up getting Meridia's Light. So, this... Yeah, there we go. We're officially Dragonborn. Yay! So, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll ride back down the mountain, and we'll travel to the outside right here. All right. Big stretch. So we're we're really quickly uh, stopping into Riften, right? We took the boat from Iverstead to Riften. We're going to turn this quest and uh, get the other one. It's in Lady Mara bids you welcome. Oh, her please heal my wounds. Course. Thanks Thank you. Uh, I help the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful! Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Uh, does Mara require more? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. <coughs> Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. All right, sounds easy enough. And we'll we'll just kind of jump forward because we're we're not really gonna work on that. So we're gonna now head, unless we end up with something else. Now we're gonna head to grab the horn. So, okay. All right, so we're back. We spent the night at a little camp outside of, where are we? Uh, Ustengrav, right? There was a necromancer out here. There was a blizzard happening, but I think our horses will be okay because they'll just huddle next to the fire, right? Which is going well. We are gonna start getting ready for our battle, right? Give Eric a healing aura. Uh, we need to eat some food, right? So we're gonna do... Why don't we do a mammoth tomato stew and then a beef stew? And I think... We'll be in a lot better position, right? How are we doing? So we're still hungry. Equip this. And we'll do... Uh, I guess we'll do a cooked venison, right? So there we go. We'll jump down. We we opened this chest earlier, but I didn't want to loot it. It was a freaking black soul gem and an ancient text inside. Let's get inside because it's, it's just so windy and loud. Oh, that's so much better, right? So there was a necromancer outside. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we could have should have come inside. We would have found breakfast. Well, I can 
hear someone in there. Say so we just go for it. Oh my god, who is who are all those people? They see us. Who is fighting here? <laughs> Eric, they're right in front of you, bro. We need to get Eric's vision check. Yeah, it looks like necromancers. And I don't know who was in here before, but are they miners? No, it looks like they were excavating. That's pretty interesting. Scroll of Summon Flame Atrium. Interesting. Or, or recipe, excuse me. Give the men a burial. We don't have the resources, unfortunately. Nice dwarven sword, but... Why did they start attacking him? That was kind of weird, right? Everything in here seems to be about death. Burial rooms, crypts, funeral shrouds. It's a bit depressing. No, Eric. It's our job. Manual for spellcraft. Hey, nice. Take those. I don't know if there's any chests around here. This place is big. Like the starting starting hall here. And we walked by a couple of things up here. I don't know if there's anything up here, but... Well, there's a dead Draugr. That's interesting. Some random potions. Hmm. I guess that was kind of worth checking. Oh, and this, this poor guy here. I mean, I, I appreciate the, you know, the lock picks, but so we'll continue on, but we definitely have to be careful of traps and apparently Draugr. <laughs> we'll take out this guy first. Whoa, that's a lot of Draugr. Get out of here with your crappy spells. Wow. Nice backhand, Derek. Staff of Sparks. This is like so crappy that I'm not even gonna take it. Like it's worth 250 gold. You're a disappointment to mages everywhere. So what we got, uh, mage armor on self, some other things here. That has a reasonably good weight to value ratio, I guess, but it's just it's just not worth that much gold. So Okay, that isn't gonna blast us with magic, so that's pretty good. I think hold on, I think that's the way forward, and this is like a back room. Oh my god, this place is ridiculous. So no, this is a back room. Start over here. Look at all these burial urns. Here to be empty though. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, oh! Always check the urns. Looks like that's gonna be our exit though. Ramp, ramp. Moving right along. Do we look in here yet? No. These, yeah. Again, they're just all empty. Restoration book that looks like we hadn't found before, so that's kind of cool. All right, moving right along. I was hoping for like chests or some gems or something. But what is this? Oh, that was the the magic magic thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're heading this way. Good. Down or side? We'll go side first. Nope. What is that? Nope. No. Nope. Maybe we should have gone down. This place seems to progress. Like it's Oh, that is not what I was looking for. Oh, bag of gold. Oh, okay. Again, so random. I'm, what? What? Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is going on here? That's a little septum. Just feels well. Having this new life as an adventurer. It's 
what I was meant to do. What? What is this place? Making sure there's nothing on the ground. No traps? Really? Let's get going. Ah! Yeah, nothing on the ground, just a nice long tunnel with no loot. <laughs> I... That's okay. Well, if they are, Eric, you're gonna get to meet them. So that'll be exciting, right? Become well acquainted. Going up. Are we down there? Yeah, we were already down there. Oh, these potions, man. It's pretty good. Oh, was that a little bit further, maybe? No. So was it right at the start? Just like right here. Sound effects are much scarier in a good way with the Wildlander mod pack. No, I, I definitely agree. I mean, we have night vision. What is that? A random petty soul gem. Okay. What's up, what like? What's up with these bags of gold? I'm not complaining, but it's a little weird. I see someone down there, and I don't like it. Come on. Do we have power bashing enabled? What was back this way first? There's so many, like, different directions to go. Oh! Yep, yep. Huh, okay, that was a bit strange. There's probably loot down here, I bet. That's why it's trapped. Okay. Found all the Draugr. Why is it so, like, confusing? I said Eric. Nope. Not today. So much. Where did we come in, first of all? Okay, we came in from in there. I think we're still in combat. Cheese! No, we're all set. We had breakfast. So I guess this is their dining hall? Makeshift dining area. Oh god, a couple of these. I'm gonna have so many crude healing potions that I won't even know what to do with them all. Like, did, did we come in this way? Or is this an exit? I'm so disoriented. No, this is like the opposites. Ah! All right. Someone there. Okay. That hurt. Eric. Nice. All things considered. What we got? Eh. Eh. Anything else around here? Yeah, this place is massive. Coin always greases the oh, Eric wants his payment, right? Paying him a thousand gold per day to hang out with us. Hey, there's one. Where's the other? Hmm. Now I'm curious. Maybe it's back this way? 
don't know. This place is ridiculous. No, Eric sends the money back to his father, so. All right, that's, that's continuing down there. We don't really want to explore that yet. I would like to try and find, oh, is it this? Ta-da! Traps. I'm just grabbing all the potions because most of the time they're they're worth it for selling. Like their their weight to value ratio is usually above 50. So. Hey, nice. What was that? A flawless aquamarine? I think. I'm not sure. What is up here? Have we been up here yet? Oh, I am so disoriented. Did. Did we cross through here yet? Oh, I think we did. I think we officially looped around and now we're back down here. Yes, okay. Here, we'll take another junk healing potion. Yes, this is the way down. Eric, please be very careful. What's that? Over here. Oh no. Oh no, it is a skeleton. Wah, 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 wah. Someone there. Oh, something's shooting at us. Come on. What the hell's up there? Oh. Eric! Oh, okay. There you are. This is Get out of here. I don't have much fire protection, do I? I guess we'll continue this way. Ooh, look, we got garnet. Flawless garnet. Nice. Like a hole in the wall. How do you get back there? It looks like you have to go, like, around. Oh, maybe it's... from, like, a bridge up there? Right? Then how do you get up there? I don't know. It... Okay, it looks like it connects from there. I think you have to use shouts. Eric, be careful. Oh! Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Spooky noises. All right, we here. We're gonna need some some dragonborn power. Ready? Oh. And then I'm gonna have to. Well, I can try jumping, or I can wait for it to recharge to get over there. Aren't careful. Uh, they could have a bone to pick with me. I'm not gonna be able to jump that. Eric's looking at me like. What the hell, bro? Oh! No, there's a skeleton over there! Get him, Eric! Get him! You get him, and I'll... Be over here, getting treasure. Treasure! Anything in there? No. Treasure, 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 treasure. History of lockpicking. Huh. Interesting. Get out of my... Get out of my treasure! You're not my treasure. Eric is a super cool bro. Ah. Go this way. Was it worth it? I mean, we we got 70 lock picking, but no, it was not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Let's see if I can just kind of eh. Nice. And then I guess this is the way forward, so Eric did help in that respect. Looks like there's a, a dragon wall down there, though. God, there's so much stuff. I have to check up here first. Oh, that's it? Okay. Kind of weird. 
it detects my dragon bloodedness? Oh! Oh, I know what we have to do. Okay, all right. So this, they only open if you sprint through them, right? So we're gonna have to use whirlwind sprint to do this. Go, 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 ah! No, no, Eric, Eric! Oh, I think I get it, I get it, I get it, hold on. All right, all right. No, 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 I figured it out. Ready? All right, let's do this quickly. Did Eric make it through though? Yeah, he did, look, I. I don't think I like where this is going. Here, we're gonna do a quick save for that. It's been a while since I did this dungeon, so. What are we looking at here? Whoa! How do we, how do we know which ones to walk on? What do we do? Is there a trick or do you just kinda Oh, I can hear spiders and stuff. You know what we should do? Just just for, because we're a werewolf, just for everybody else, we're going to use Hunter's Night Vision. Which does absolutely nothing. Okay, that's fine. If I was an undead spirit, I'd totally whisper spooky stuff in a dungeon. What we will do is keep unrelenting force kicking around. All right, we're just gonna... Ah! Okay. Oh, we can mostly walk on it because, like, the ceiling collapsed. That's horrifying. All right, just runs right over it, like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's that? What's that? Oh! They're not attacking us! Remember? Because we have the, um... Voice of the Sky. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <sighs> it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna take some, a uh, couple of healing potions here, right? Okay, we're just gonna... Oh... Just gonna walk right through. <laughs> what do we see? I don't know, but... Silver. Alright, Eric. Come inside, please. Nice. Yeah, look at this place, huh? Swanky. Okay. Alright. Wow. Guess they know I'm Dragonborn, huh? And a note. A note? Dragonborn, I need to speak with you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you, a friend. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Oh, look. We could get gray beard robes and stuff. Should we take them? What do you think? I think we will. Those were obviously meant for us. 
right? Well, they seem to have cleared out any enemies that might have been in here already. Well, that's interesting. John is graybeard material. <laughs> huh. Oh, okay. Yay, we do get loot. Still checking the burial urns, though. Pick up all the loose gold. Despite the fact that we have 26,541, now 43 gold. Should be more ways to avoid having to fight enemies. Yeah, learn languages to pacify types of creatures. Interest. And dagger ball. All right, what do we got? Gauntlets of Major Archery, Staff of Hewada, nice to pop that, right? Nice, some potions, lots of potions. Uh, four opals, which are, you know, eh. And then that we can break down, and then an ancient text, which we will learn. Eric, okay, come here, take feels right. Sure thing. I still laugh that we can attempt robbery on Eric. Eric, I'm, I'm sick of your, sick of your BS. So you could, yeah, you could do like a shout build. It's kind of cool. And that we really didn't. I guess I'll give him all the ingredients, right? That's probably kind of heavy. It helped a little bit, but oh yeah, these things. So give him those. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's get going then. Nice. doing on time. We'll make our way outside. Oof. Yay, we made it through. And yeah, we already looted that. There was nothing. Where's any, anybody remember which direction the exit is? Oh yeah, it was this way, right? Shouldn't be any more traps or anything ridiculous, right? Right? Yep, out this way. And then, yeah, poor guy, I think we missed him. Pick his pocket, take all of his gold. I don't know who they were part of, but. Oh, right. Here, so we're gonna quickly go back inside here. Um, I do believe that that is going to be the end of this episode. We still have a lot to do, right? It, I mean, we, we are officially Dragonborn now. We didn't even have to use our shouts because we were able to take out these enemies so easily and so quickly. But we, oh, we, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking too far down, right? So we'll figure out who took the horn while we're, oh, and we're gonna do that, but starting as, hmm. let me think. As Dragonborn now, because we are, we, do, we are officially Dragonborn, we are going to start the next episode We'll try and see if Eric is gonna, or excuse me, if John Rurikson is gonna come up with a new name, right? Because he's no longer just John Rurikson. He's he's Dragonborn. It's like Eric the Slayer, right? Nobody wants Eric Greenthumb. So we're gonna come up with a new name for John Rurikson, and then we're gonna head out. We're gonna get the Rufal Axe, and we're also most likely going to take on uh, getting what is it? Uh, Dawnbreaker, right? the sword for Meridia. So that's probably going to be next episode. I don't know how long it'll take to do this, but we're going to be tackling these on the next episode, which will be the first episode of season two. I will see you then.